Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a review on a new line that I recently saw at Target and it is the Emerge line from Target. Ooh, ooh, there we go. <laughs> the Emerge line from Target. I picked up four out of the six products that they offered and I'm here to give y'all my thoughts on these products, whether they work for kinky type four textured hair or not. But first, before we get into the video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week, usually on Wednesday and Saturday. So if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this review. All right, y'all, so I've gone ahead and cleansed my hair. If you're interested in knowing what I use, I'll leave it down below. Um, today was a co-wash day, so that's what I did. Like I said, there's six products total in this Emerge line. Uh, it's brand new. I ain't never seen these products before in Target, but I was in Target. I live at Target, basically. Um, but I was in Target. Of course, I walked by the hair care aisle and I saw these products and I was like, okay. And they really caught my eye because of the packaging. I think the packaging is so cute. I'm a sucker for like blues and purples and greens. And then next what caught my eye is the size. Products are huge and they're only $6.99 each. And I know a lot of y'all um, have asked for videos on more like affordable hair care. And so I was like, okay, let me try these out. Because if they're good, they're only $6.99. So like I mentioned before, um, I only picked up four out of the six products. Um, there is a sulfate-free moisturizing shampoo and there's also a moisturizing conditioner that I did not pick up. Your girl is not the biggest fan of shampoos, so I decided to just go ahead and pass on it. But what I did pick up is the Emerge um, Back to Life Hair Mask. It's the Deep Condition and Revive um, Hair Mask. And this one is 15 ounces. And then the next product I picked up is the My Main BFF, <laughs> Main as in M-A-N-E, Leave-In Conditioner and it's Nourishing and Smoothing. And I love how it literally says like four naturals on here. <laughs> That's really cute. And then I picked up the My Everything Buttercream Curl Definition and Softness. And then the last thing that I picked up is the Style Goals Gel Definition and Control Gel, which looks like this. I am supposed to be on a no buy, but I kept debating like, should I buy these products? Should I try them out? And then I was like, well, if no one really wants to see a review on this line, then I won't buy them or I have bought them, but I was like, I'll take them back. But if y'all did want to see it, then I was just going to go ahead and keep them and try them out. Most of y'all said try them out. A good amount of y'all said no, but majority of y'all said to try it out. So that is what I am doing. So we're going to just go ahead and start with the deep conditioner. Now I've already smelled these products and they don't smell good to me. They smell like some sort of like cheapy lotion that you would get at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls that don't really smell good, don't really care for it. So all the products say that they are formulated without sulfates, without parabens, um, phthalates, and silicones. So I know a lot of y'all asked if this had silicone and sulfates and it does not. Um, looking at the ingredients, it has water, it has glycerin, vegetable glycerin to be exact, pecuwi fruit oil, I've never heard of that, and some other ingredients that I don't know. So this does not have any coconut oil, it does not have any aloe vera juice, it does not have any shea butter, and it does not have any protein. This is the consistency right here. Oh. And this one isn't thick, this one is moving. <laughs> So I can't do my little upside down test. I'll just go ahead and let you know that this would not stay in the jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and section off my hair and start applying. This is what it looks like. All 
All right, so it feels really good on my hair. It doesn't have the most slip. There is some slip, but not a lot. It's kind of typical of a deep conditioner. Um, but I will say that my hair is really absorbing it. It feels very moisturizing. Yeah, I just don't like the smell, y'all, the smell. <laughs> and it's not super strong, I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, y'all, it's really penetrating in my hair, which I really like. Okay. So it says for moisture rich and phrase free curl definition. So it's supposed to be a more moisturizing deep conditioner rather than like a strengthening deep conditioner. And it's obvious because there's no protein in there and like no biotin either. So I'm just going to continue to apply this throughout my hair and then I'll be back once I am done. All right, y'all, so I'm done applying this deep conditioner to my hair and it kind of feels like, you know, like those hair mayonnaises, that's what it kind of feels like a little bit. This is how much I use, so I still have a good bit of product left. Like I mentioned, it is 15 ounces, so this would probably last me a good little bit of time. The instructions say to leave it in for 15 minutes um, and then rinse thoroughly. And for a more like intense uh, conditioning treatment, you can apply heat. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply heat like I always do. Um, definitely longer than 15 minutes, probably like an hour or so at least. And then I'll rinse it out and I'll let y'all know how I feel once it's rinsed out and then start with the good old styling products. So I will be right back. Okay y'all, so I've rinsed that deep conditioner out of my hair. I left it in for maybe like an hour and a half and this is how my hair looks like. My curls are popping. My hair does feel soft, it does feel moisturized, and it felt moisturized when it was rinsing out of my hair. Okay, so we're gonna be applying my main BFF leave-in conditioner, and it claims as nourishing and smoothing, and that it's moisturizing as well. Okay, so as far as ingredients go, um, this does have vegetable glycerin, it's kind of towards the middle of the list of ingredients. It also contains sunflower seed oil, that pecui fruit oil, sweet almond fruit extract, sweet almond oil, hydrolyzed cornstarch. So I noticed that none of the products like this and the deep conditioner, at least the products that I've tried thus far, have any butters in them and typically Something normally has a butter in it, but these products don't. Maybe that's why they're so cheap. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pump some into my hand. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's very runny. Yeah, this is definitely a lightweight leave-in conditioner. Okay, it feels pretty good going onto my hair. Seems to be absorbing to my hair. It's not sitting on it or anything. So that's good. It's got a little bit of slip to it. Not the most slip, but definitely a little bit of slip to where you can detangle your hair if you need to. So I'm done applying the Emerge my main BFF leave-in conditioner, and it actually feels really good in, on my hair. It doesn't feel like it's just sitting on my hair. It feels like it's actually penetrating my strands. So what I'm going to do now, or at least this is what I planned in my mind, I was going to use my Everything Butter Cream, and then I was going to use the Style Goals Gel. Um, neither one of them, talk about using them together, but it also doesn't warn about um, using it together as well. So I'm going to do a mix test really quickly. Take a little bit of the cream. Okay, y'all, 
This gel is liquidy. Do not hold it upside down when you open it because it literally goes everywhere. That's great. <sighs> they seem to go well together. There's no clumping. So I will be using both of them for my twist out. First, before we get into twisting, I wanted to give you um, some quick specs. This also is 15 ounces. And it says it's a curl um, defining cream, curl definition and softness for moisture rich frizz free curl definition. And as far as the ingredients go, um, it actually has glycerin in it, vegetable glycerin. It is the third ingredient. It has coconut oil, which is pretty high up. It also has shea butter, which is pretty high up. It has that piqui, um fruit as well, fruit extract, but I don't see any protein. So like I said, I see glycerin, I see coconut oil, and I see shea butter, but I don't see any protein. As far as the gel goes, it says that you get definition and control without the crunch. This one is 11.7 fluid ounces, so still not bad. And then the ingredients, uh, the second ingredient is vegetable glycerin. It all, also has the Pequi fruit oil as well. It has sweet almond oil. So we're just going to go ahead and twist up the hair. We'll be applying the butter and the gel to each of my twists. I'm going to go light handed with the gel because sometimes when I go heavy handed with gels, I get flakes so we're gonna try to be light-handed although I will say that this gel is very liquidy so it's gonna be hard to control what comes out All right so this is how much I'm going to use it feels good going on my hair Let's see it is not thick because as I turn the jar it's starting to come out so it's not super thick. It feels almost like the leave-in um, as far as how it feels on my hair, just a little bit thicker than the leave-in. Then we're going to add this gel. And like I said, I'm opening it upside down. Ah, I don't even know if y'all saw that, but it comes out so quick. This is how much I have on my hand. Tried to only do, whoa, whoa. When I go to rub my hands together, this stuff is like water. Y'all, I don't know about this. The last time I used a real watery gel, uh, it was Mo Nose Hair uh, watery gel. And that crap was terrible. I don't know, I legit feel like I didn't put anything on my hair. <laughs> oh goodness okay I'm just gonna try to add a little bit more so that I can actually feel like I put something on y'all this stuff is literally like it looks like water whatever we're just gonna go with it I'm just gonna twist up my hair <laughs> just gonna play a little bit of music for y'all to enjoy while I just do my regular regular schmegular two strand twist oh I can't talk today Two strand twist. There we go. Okay, really quickly, y'all. I finished doing my first section. This gel is so watery that I legit feel like I am putting water on my hair. I don't know. I had thoughts about like, okay, if my hair turns out really good, is it because of the cream that is turning out good because this feels like water or would it actually be the gel? So what we're going to do is I'm still going to continue to use both the twisting butter, cream butter, buttercream <laughs> and the gel i'm gonna continue to use both of them together on this left side and then i think i'm going to use just the buttercream on the right side 
because I just truly want to see if this gel does anything. So now we're going to get right back into the music. <laughs> my twist they feel nice they feel juicy um they feel moisturized so of course i'm gonna let them dry i'll probably let them air dry for at least a full day and then i will take them down and i'll give you my final thoughts on this emerge collection line brand from target hey y'all so my hair is dry i went ahead and took down my twist off camera just for a sake of time, because my video has been real long recently <laughs> and kind of wanted to shorten them down. But anyways, um, this is what my twists look like before separation on the buttercream and the gel side. I have really good definition. And then this is what my twists look like on just the buttercream side. Also have great definition. Um, as far as how my hair feels, y'all, I don't really think the gel did much, <laughs> to be quite honest. Like, I can feel, like, maybe, like, a teensy weensy, like, little bit of, I guess, stronger hold, more hold on the side, but really nothing to write home about. I really don't feel that big of a difference. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is separate and fluff off camera and then I'll come back with my final results and then my final thoughts on these products. All right y'all I'm back. I have uh, separated and fluffed out my hair and this is what my twist out looks like. So I'll show you the other side. So now let's get into my final thoughts on these products. Uh, first is the Back to Like Hair Mask. I actually really did like this. Um, I kind of already started editing my footage and looking back at how my curls looked, um, when I had rinsed this out, my curls looked so good. They look so defined. My hair is moisturized. I really do like this. Is this a holy grail product? I wouldn't say so, but I'll definitely keep using it. And for those of you who are on a budget, who may be in college, can't afford to spend like $12, $13 on every single product, I completely understand. Save those coins, pick this up. This will last you for a while. So next is my main BFF leave-in conditioner. This is also another really good product that I enjoyed using. Um, it really added some extra moisture to my hair. It had slip in it as well. It really penetrated my hair. I hate when I have a leave-in that literally just sits on my hair. This does not do that. This penetrates your hair and it it's really bomb. I really like this. This might actually be my favorite product out of all the products. Yeah, I think so. I really did like this leave-in conditioner. Someone had mentioned that they saw um, a sulfate in this leave-in conditioner, although the products claim all to be sulfate-free. And I took the ingredients, and yes, there's Behentrimonium Methyl Sulfate. So I did my research on this to see if it's actually a sulfate. It's not a harsh sulfate that's going to dry out your hair. It's actually a surfactant made from canola oil. And it's actually one of, one of the mildest detangling um, ingredients. Uh, that you can find in conditioners, deep conditioners, um, even some shampoos, just products where you want that slip. So just wanted to put that out there. Moving on to the My Everything Buttercream. I really did actually enjoy this product. Um, it gave me a bomb twist out on its own, um, paired with the leave-in of course, but without the gel, it gave me a bomb twist out. My only concern is that glycerin is the third ingredient on this. So I am going to watch how my hair reacts to this high level of glycerin. I'm typically not super glycerin sensitive, but if something has the glycerin as like the second or third ingredient and it's not a gel and it's like a cream, it more than likely 
doesn't do the greatest with my hair so i'll definitely keep y'all updated but for now um it provided great definition moisture and then lastly is this emerge style goals gel and y'all don't buy this <laughs> this is just this is just water it's water in a bottle it didn't really do anything for my hair as you see i don't really see the biggest difference the biggest difference that i do see is when i was separating out my twist i noticed that this side with a gel as i was separating it out it got a little bit more frizzy than this side and it wasn't like i was separating them with two different methods or two different te techniques i was doing the same thing i was being patient i had my oil on my hands separating where it naturally wanted to separate and i feel like i got a little bit more like frizz on this side than on this side um it's 11.7 ounces for 6.99 you can just get you some wet line for two or three dollars it's like 35 ounces and call it a day i don't recommend this i say if you want to try them out if you're on a budget definitely try them out but this gel ain't it this gel is not it um i also wanted to mention someone asked me if uh this brand was black owned i tried to do my research and to be quite honest there's not a lot of information out on this brand um i tried to see if they had like their own website and they didn't at least from what i could find i didn't really see their own website and because i couldn't find their website i'm not sure if they're black owned or not i could be totally wrong don't quote me but i just feel like this is just a brand that target made themselves and they're just trying to get into the natural hair market is what I was thinking because they know that it's lucrative because they know that we will spend money on our hair. That's it for my final thoughts. I am actually really shocked. I kind of, I wasn't sure if I was going to like these products or not, but I do like them. I would definitely use them up as far as repurchasing them. Um, I know I'm not going to repurchase this. In fact, I'm probably going to take this back to the store because it does nothing for my hair. But for the rest, I don't know. You'll have to catch them in an empties video on whether I decide that I would actually repurchase them or not. Just first try. None of these are really holy grail status for me. But they're good, solid products. I'll give them that. They're good, solid products. But I hope y'all enjoyed this review. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. Let us know if you've tried out these products. Your thoughts, we want to know. Um, also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.